think with the um, what's interesting with the cigar shaped UFOs, we've seen some DOD footage about those recently that have been all over the news. Um, but when we've been traveling around the world, we've also seen similar reports of cigar shaped UFOs. And that's interesting because, you know, if we're assuming that this could be a potentially classified government program, you'd expect to see those types of objects restricted to certain areas. But now that we have uh, reports from various countries uh, across the globe of witnesses seeing similar objects, um, for me, it kind of indicates something potentially beyond a classified program. Uh, Because again, within the military community, you're only going to be testing those classified programs in certain areas. Or if you're actually deploying that technology, you're going to be very careful where you deploy it to. And the odds of you know, that technology being deployed to a random country um, outside of any open war zones or any, you know, present threat to the United States, uh, to me, would be very unusual. So it's compelling that we have uh, very similar reports coming from multiple countries across the world that, uh, that report similar, similar sightings. I think, um, you know, in, in those situations, uh, you're, you're testing new platforms, right? So new aircraft or new drone systems. Uh, and then those platforms... Uh, would have a number of uh, possible uses um, depending on what type of uh, sensors or 